Yuri Brodsky-Brenner came up with a biological model of development. His model includes five nested structures centered on the child. The five environmental parts start with the microsystem, which in, is any environment where a child is directly interacting with others around them. It then goes on to the mesosystem, which links the direct interactions occurring in individual settings to develop new understandings of the outside world. The exosystem, including parts of life that can impact a child even though they are not directly involved, the macro system, which is based on the cultural aspects including beliefs, values, and other factors such as the economy and governmental influences, and finally work their way out to the chronosystem, which represents the changes over time as the child goes and develops. These five parts do not work independently, but instead interact and work together in the child's development. The first part of Bronfenbrenner's model, most centered on the child, is the microsystem. The system includes any immediate setting where the child is directly interacting with others and is learning, being nurtured, or encouraged. This could include the child's home, child care facilities, school, sports team, church, neighborhood, health care facilities, and so on. The microsystem not only includes these places where they are interacting, learning, and being nurtured, but the people in them, so their families, friends, peer groups, teachers, doctors, pastors, and others. These environments and the interactions they have in them will affect how the child grows and develops. If these environments are good and supportive for the child, they will have a much better chance at a good, healthy development than a child raised in a less supportive and nurturing environment. The microsystem is also where the child learns to act and react. Will they learn to deal with their temperament, which also plays a role in the development of their personality and how they will learn to treat and interact with others throughout their life, and in turn, how they will be treated back. These interactions will end up having a great impact on, how, on the child, his or her development, and how he or she will learn to form relationships. The next component is labeled as the mesosystem. We can think about this process as a relationship between or among microsystems, as opposed to a layer outside of the core. According to the scholarly article, Yuri Bronfenbrenner's Theory of Human Development, Its Evolution from Ecology to Bioecology, the developmental characteristics of the mesosystem are similar to those of the microsystem, the main difference being that rather than the activities and interpersonal roles and relations occurring within a single microsystem, they occur across settings. This is an opportunity to build a bridge between two settings in a child's life that might otherwise be unrelated. So how is this concept seen in real life? Let's look at this hypothetical character, Jordan. She's taken care of by her stay-at-home mother. Together, they live in an average-looking, friendly apartment. They are not particularly rich by any means, but they have always had enough to get by. Her family has been faithful in their circumstances and lean on their traditional Christian values. Jordan has been attending public school since kindergarten and has loved every second of it up until now. Jordan is beginning to notice that sometimes parts of her life conflict or work together to create a new understanding of how the world works. For example, Jordan's mom and neighborhood both provided a safe environment to socialize and explore. This setting jump-started Jordan's belief that the world is a safe place with open opportunities. However, while playing with her friends, she starts to notice there is a difference between them. Jordan never really paid attention to the clothes she wore, but her friends always pointed out her hand-me-downs. This made Jordan question why she didn't own the same name brands as her peers. She soon came to the conclusion that there are differences in social status. Jordan didn't let this bother her though. She relied on her faith to push through those so-called differences. At school one day, she wanted to hang up a picture of the cross she drew. Her teacher shyly approached her and told her she must take it down. Jordan questioned why this might be the case. Her experience expanded her thinking to consider church and state to be two separate ideas in society. Thus, perhaps, she too could develop this value. Jordan's mesosystem was formed or widened each time she entered a new setting. She was able to bridge those gaps between her already existing microsystems. By doing so, Jordan expanded her thought process about her surroundings. Had she not gone through these situations, the mesosystem would be diminished. The next stage in Bronfenbrenner's ecological model is the exosystem stage. This stage encompasses parts of a child's life that they may not interact with but still affect them. A child's neighborhood and city affect how they are raised and who they know. A child's extended family has a big impact upon them even though they may not see each other very often. 
they can still impact the family's culture and habits. The child's parents' workplace has an effect on a child as well. If the parent gets a promotion or laid off, it will impact the family's financial situation. Another example would be if the child's parents are in the military. They might move often or a parent may be deployed overseas. Many different institutions also have an effect on a child's life. The New York Stock Exchange, for example, can change a family's financial situation any given day and the family will change how they live based off of that. The government can send into effect many different laws and regulations that can shape how a child is brought up. One example of this is the Department of Education. It can control what a child will learn and how they will learn it. Local health care also impacts a child as it will determine what kind of treatment a family receives. A growing field of impact on children's lives is the different types of media that they are introduced to. Much of the news we get now comes from a few different large media distributors, and how they deliver it can change what a child thinks of the world. Another sphere of media is that of social media. More and more young children are gaining access to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and other forms of social media. Children can learn a lot from these and also be exposed to many different aspects of the world. This brings us to the macro system. The fourth level Bronfenbrenner system includes the cultural aspects that impact a child. This includes political views of parents, laws, and government factors along with cultural impacts such as where the child lives and ep economic factors. The culture in which a child grows up has a substantial impact on development. An example of this is a child born into a rich family with a lot of financial security and opportunity. This child will likely have a much less stressful child than a child who has to work from a very young age just to eat. Economic patterns like this make up a large part of the macro system. Access to resources such as schools and healthcare can impact a child as well. Those children who live in third world countries with little access to public schools are less likely to be successful academically. In comparison, a developed country with a large quantity of schools will have better educated children that will be able to gain access to success in a variety of fields. This ties into economic factors as well. Developing countries and children in those countries have a hard time advancing because of the lack of resources is so great. All the things that influence the children in the macro system have a large impact on adult life simply because there are large outside factors such as money, laws, and politics that are hard to change and play a large role in everyday life. Values and beliefs of culture influence a child as they've developed to assist in shaping them later as an adult. Values and beliefs are what drive laws and political agendas, and these laws, based on belief, shape society, and by extension, each individual child that comes into contact with the effects of the laws and regulations. Cultures all have different customs and ways of doing things, and depending on how religiously those customs are followed by the caregivers, the child will grow up learning these same customs and beliefs as well. Beliefs can affect how a child receives medical care, and possibly how fast they learn basic skills such as walking. In some cultures, doctors and Western medicine practices are not acceptable methods of health care and therefore children can be more susceptible to a wide variety of diseases. These children will also continue those practices with their children well enough, continuing this cycle of health care in the macro cycle. The last layer of Bronfenbrenner's ecological theory is the kernel system which essentially involves all four earlier stages of the ecological system. The chrono system represents the changes over time in the different systems within the ecological model as a child grows and develops. Time can have a huge influence, especially if the timing of an event happens during the early years of a child or even older years. An example for the chrono system is the timing of parents getting a divorce. It would affect a young child differently than it would affect a teenager. Age can also play a role in the timing of a loved one passing away. Another way timing can play a role in a child's development is traumatic environmental events that happen during an individual's life. An example for that could be growing up at a young age during 9-11. The child is not really sure what is going on, but they know that something bad is happening. Time can also play a role in which generation a child grows up in. Growing up in a generation where children played games outside and watched movies on a VHS player could affect their development differently than a child growing up in a generation with the newest technology like an iPad or Xbox One.
Developing during a generation with the newest technology can have a big impact on a child's learning as well. Children used to grow up in a generation where everything was textbooks with paper and pencil. Now, instead, they use laptops, tablets, and other devices to learn. Timing an event during an individual's development doesn't necessarily just affect a young child growing up in his or hers early years. It can also play a role when an individual is older. For example, having a baby when you are 16 years old compared to an individual who has a baby at the age of 28. Each individual is going to be affected by having a baby in different ways. All of these transitions or events that happen during an individual's development can have an effect on their attitude, behavior, learning, and social being later in life. As you have seen, Brenner's ecological model encompasses all aspects of life. From young to old, children's lives will be impacted by what shapes the different stages of their lives. Yuri Brenner was able to understand this concept and make it into a widely accepted psychological theory. Thanks for watching.